Hispanic Heritage Month starts tomorrow. It's a time to celebrate the culture and traditions of those who trace their roots to Spain, Mexico, Central, and South America. Now, this year's theme is getting involved. Our families, our community, our nation. CBS2 charity contributor and philanthropic advisor Lisa Dietlin is here with a look at some of the Latino not-for-profit organizations in Chicago. So this is still a relatively informal thing, huh, Lisa? It is. It is. With any of our recent immigrant communities, they don't come from a formalized philanthropic culture. So they give a lot directly to family members or through their church. But as they become more acclimated to our country, they do establish well-formalized and 501c3 nonprofit organizations. Well, let's talk about some of those organizations. Casa Central? Casa Central, one of my favorite. I love Casa Central. It was started in 1954 by Reverend Dan Alvarez to help his community. They're located over in Humboldt Park, and they are the largest social service agency serving Hispanics in the Midwest. They do adult daycare, children daycare, they do early learning, a nursing certificate program, housing, domestic violence awareness, full service agency. And you really realize how beneficial these, these organizations are when you actually use one. I know my mom goes to adult daycare for mm -hmm. Alzheimer's and it's like they're a godsend. Absolutely, and CASA does that in the Hispanic community. Another organization I've heard about, El Valor. El Valor was started in the 70s and it was started by a mom who had a disabled son and wanted him to have full access to a full and rich life and it's um, for disabled, disenfranchised and underserved persons in the Hispanic community. There's a long history over at the Erie Neighborhood House. Oh my gosh, 130 years they've been around and Rick Estrada is leading it and they are about making sure that we have a just and equitable society so they are about providing life skills and also advocacy and collaborative action to those individuals who might not have access to resources in the Latino community that need them and this month is also about celebrating culture right it is and we have the National Museum of Mexican Art here located in Pilsen in Little Village outstanding museum one of those hidden gems in Chicago and the nation that not enough people know about and they're about protecting the heritage they're about promoting the knowledge there and their um, theme is without borders so it means they're promoting culture that's both on the Mexican side of the border and the US side of the border very exciting mm -hmm. and I understand there are some scholarships available potentially for young people there are uh, the Hispanic scholarship fund was established in the 1970s and it's comparable to the United Negro College Fund they have a very ambitious goal. Their goal is to double the number of Hispanic students receiving a college education by 2010. And so not only do they provide scholarships, but they provide information to the families about what services and resources are available. So how can we all get involved in this? Well, you know what I always say, make a financial donation. That's the first thing I say to one of these nonprofits that serve the Hispanic community. Volunteer, get involved, learn about this culture. Any one of these nonprofits I talked about, plus a little church out in Cicero called Mary Queen of Heaven that's doing good work in the Hispanic community. They all need volunteers and help. And the third is talk about it. Become aware of this culture and how important it is to America. Well, you've been very helpful in getting us started on that today. Thanks so much. Lisa Dietlin, our philanthropic contributor, thanks so much for coming. I'm in. Glad we really to be do here. appreciate it. Well, for more ways to recognize Hispanic Heritage Month, head to CBS2Chicago.com. Just click on Morning News for Lisa's top five tips.